Yeah, man, Sopa Purples, one of my blessed beats. How to use battery kits in Mashina. Popularly requested question. Let's have a look at how to do it. You know what I'm saying? All right, don't you worry about this. It's not going to be anything super complicated. First of all, go into native access. Make sure that you have battery installed. This is probably obvious, but you know, just to be on the safe side. Make sure you check not installed to see that it's not there. There's two different ways that you can open up battery. And if you have it correctly installed, it should pop up here. This is one of the two ways. First, make sure that you're on the plugin tab right here and not the channel tab plug-in tab right sound level not group or master sound press right here native instruments battery 4 okay confirm we have battery 4 installed so we could just press it from there and open it up and load our plugins that way or we could use the library here where you would find your battery kits is under instruments now here you also need to make sure that this user icon is not clicked because that would only display our own saved instruments and samples so this needs to be unchecked so we see all of the material that is in here under the instruments and you can click this tab right here to filter by only battery and again if you don't see battery in here it is probably not correctly installed last resort there you can go into preferences that you have your plugin set up right so this should be detected we should find battery in here also. Yep, battery four. And uh, if you don't see it in here and it is installed, check your locations and make sure you've added the folder that battery four is installed to. If you haven't moved it after installing it, there should not be a problem. You shouldn't move it after installing it. That may cause you some Ishmaelus. All right, but now that we got this far, we know that we have the battery in here. We can load up a kit, PC machine kit. That sounds cool. All right, now when I'm pressing the pad. Uh oh, why, why? It's only playing back one of the sounds on the pads. I need the sounds spread out across the pads. You can open up the plugin and watch me pressing pad one. It's only playing back this sample right here. Why? Because you need to press the keyboard button you see this is how it works with machine all of these sounds they can either house a sample an effect or a plugin so if you load up a plugin that means the whole plugin is contained within that sound or within that pad if you loaded up 16 samples in one groups they would be living in the whole group you know what I'm saying but now this plugin the battery plugin is inside of this sound it's inside of this pad. So in order to play it, we need to activate the keyboard mode. You can do it from the software by pressing this button right here. Success, we can play all the sounds. Or you could press the button on your Machina hardware. Now when I double click this, or when I press the plug-in button on the hardware, you'll see a simplified version of battery. Of battery you need to press this little pencil right there if you want to see the extended full window with all the envelopes the engines the filter the compressor and the sense now here i want to squeeze in a little thing this is essentially machine so for one many of these kits are included in the expansions or there are versions of these kits that are exactly the same but in machine group format instead and the machine is a very competent sampler both a very competent drum sampler and keyboard sampler in and of its own in its sampler engine so all of this stuff you would typically find on a normal channel let's let's see if for let's import a sample instead okay arp shooter now we have a sampler instance on this pad and now we have essentially the same shit here polyphony pitch different playback envelopes amplitude envelopes reverse tune it change the start point quick effects just like in battery modulation some more advanced sample editing this would essentially be the same thing as hopping into the sampler here and editing the sampler see it's got essentially the same functionality a few of these effects 
they're not in in the sampler itself but all of those effects are there still in the software so i would urge you if you're used to using battery and you're moving into the world of machina it's it's, it's just adding a little bit more of a headache to use battery inside of it when machine has the power of battery and then some you know what i'm saying just a personal opinion but if you really do insist on using battery as requested that is how you can do okay check them out thank you dearly to watching if you enjoyed this if you learned something if you're new to the machina whether it's the mark three or the plus check them out i got a course for you that's going to save your life from the beginning to the end learn how to master the machina hardware wise inside out you know what i'm saying we're focusing heavily on using the hardware and not even having to glance once at the screen the machine noobs mastery school is for you i promise all right check them out link in the description shout out to the patreons join us in the discord the black hole weekly sample flip challenges okay bye, -bye.